Welcome back to the shop, and you've just caught me in the middle, oh, I say the middle, the beginning of a new uh, project that we have been given here at the uh, Yorkshire Space Agency. And when I say Yorkshire Space Agency, it's also the Yorkshire Space um, and Aeronautics Agency. So what we have been tasked with today is to construct um, an aircraft. Now, the thinking is, is that... Um, Flights are, you know, you have like long haul flights, and the head of the administration is tired of long haul flights, so has decided that maybe if we make a longer plane, as you can see, we make a longer plane, then the flights will actually be shorter. Why are they kicked out at a funny angle? Maybe it's because we've adjusted them, that front one. Oh, snap to grid. Where's snap to grid, please? No, are they vertical? They don't look vertical. So basically, all the wings are pants. There's these wings. These are the only actually wing-looking wings that there is. So if we come back to this side, we can bring our lift to a good location there we go but we don't want to do that because we need to do our ailerons and all that rubbish and then what we want here is we want some fins make them a bit bigger and then we put the one in the middle and we make that one a bit bigger actually go in the middle and that actually is in the middle is it actually that's not in the middle <laughs> That's off to one side, you fool. And we've got no roll control. Well, really, we don't need roll control. Well, really, we don't need roll control. And how much does this weigh? Yeah, 126 tonnes, that's nothing. Move the engines there. Beautiful. Nothing can go wrong. I think our wheels are adequate. We'll call this long haul. Long haul. So, let's fly. Oh, it's quite stiff. Put the brake on it so it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, this is fine. I cannot see the problem. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, we're, we're, we've got the uh, the really thin needle-shaped clouds. Why is that spazzing out? Right, let's... Uh, well, we've got to turn the engines on. Full power. Oh, it's hard to turn. Oh, it's rocking. Oh, oh it's rocking. Fins are actually nearly as big as the wind wings. Whoa! Oh, we've only got one wheel at the front. I forgot about that. So we've got a lot of torsional stress. We're going fast though. We're aerodynamic like an arrow. The problem is, is lift off. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, SS. I totally forgot about SS. Oh, we're running out of fuel. Oh my god, we're nearly out of fuel. Oh, this is amazing. The problem is... is we are using a lot of fuel. I'm surprised. We've got a torsional stress problem. It's a twist. Oh, hang on, we've got a landing gear out. So basically, hopefully, these people are a lot farther ahead than the people who paid coach. Like you will, you will get to your time zone. Oh god, we're nearly stalling. This is amazingly stiff. I thought it was going to flop around everywhere. See, this is the problem. When we, when we go to roll, 
It doesn't. Oh, we've got no roll, so that's why it's not rolling. This is excellent. This is such a success. It looks like it's as long as the runway. <laughs> Imagine if it was. <laughs> uh, hope Norway are doing all right. Lowering landing gear. Locked in place. Ready for landing. Open. Oh, yes. Make it easy to land. It's not very predictable. See, it does this weird roll thing when you go your look. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. The only thing is... My brake control isn't very good. There we go, I did it on the fly. There we go. It's crazy to think. If you turn this upside down, these could be payload bomb doors. <laughs> it's just crazy to think, really. I would call that a success. So, we're taking the original long haul, long boy idea. And we're going to Pepsi Max it. So what we want to do is take the back end off, get rid of that, put the back end back on, take this off, like so, and then get one of our couplers, no couplers, Cup no, no, it's couplers, which one is it? I think it might be construction, yes, it's construction. We have our one into two node, which is that one. Scale up to the five meter size, and we want it to look ultra cool. But we can't seem to get around to the front of it, so we'll keep it in that color. Yep, thank you. And then what we'll do is we'll copy it again. Can we not? Oh. Is that it? It's such a shame there isn't an offset one. That is an offset one. No, I want it to go on. No, not that way. That way. No! There, there, like that. Now spin it. Doesn't that fit on like that? If I scale this up... Maybe once you scale things, it, it ruins... There. Right. So... <laughs> you can see how this is going to get silly. Real quick. Oh no! Don't do that, you mug. Well, it hasn't blown up yet. These engines might set each other on fire, but let's find out. Don't seem to be 
concerning. Seems to be the problem. The wings crashed into the ground. Oh my god. The behemoth works. Oh. What's that? What? <laughs> Action group three. I've got to close the doors. I don't know. Who cares? Let's just do it. Softest landing ever. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> oh my god. We've made a powerboat. <laughs> See you later, powerboat. Where's it going? Why is it, why is it stopped? Oh, it stopped. It just stopped. Right, revert flight. So. We don't have enough power, but I've also thought of something else. We don't have much power. The problem is, is we don't have the same amount of lift because we have um, doubled up the cargo bay, but we haven't doubled up our wingage. So we need to double up our wingage to give us extra lift. Right, so nothing's bounced itself to death. Let's put the brakes on just in case. Oh, it's looking quite mean, actually. It's looking like something out of Thunderbirds. It looks like a, it looks like a cross between a, an airliner, something weird, and an F-14 Tomcat. Any road, let's give it full thrust. Let's turn SAS on, let's give it a go. Turn our brakes off. Ah, oh, the doors. The bloody doors. It wants to steer to the right for some reason. We've got a lot more power. A lot more power. Oh yeah, now we're cooking on gas. This thing is a dream. You can pull high G's like that, nothing's falling off. The wings are bending a bit. I've also realised we can fill the wings with fuel. See, this thing is ridiculously stable. So stupid! <laughs> and most passenger aircraft can't do that, they break apart. Rolling is really difficult. 
pitching is easy, but rolling. It's because we, we haven't got any ailerons. So for some reason we've lost the ability to lower our rear gear. It's alright, we've got loads of engines we can blow up. But we're just scraping them across the floor. Oh, we only lost an intake. Oh, we're going to lose an engine. We're going to lose an engine. No! No! Oh, we survived. Thank God for that. Good boy. <laughs> Good job, lads. Good job. Is an engine doing its thing somewhere? It's alright, we throttled it down. I think it's quite cool. You turn the throttle up to 100% or zero and the engine that's not part of you anymore doesn't change. I think that's very cool. Right, that's a success. Moving on. Alright, so hopefully I'm not going to get too punished for this aerodynamic mess. I cannot stick anything on the front. This is literally the limits of the hangar uh, without any mods to make the hangar, you know, so you can exceed the hangar. We've got engines galore. Weirdly enough, the landing gear, I should have straightened it up actually, but the landing gear hasn't had to change even though we've doubled it up. Oh, rolling forward. Whatever happens next, let's just do it. <laughs> SAS. Uh, full throttle. Fire all the engines. We're already, we're already wonky. Oh my god. We're not making vapour trails, we're literally just making clouds. <laughs> At this point. This thing weighs 2,090 tonnes. We can't turn it at all. The steering is just saying no. Giving it full right rudder. I have done for our majority of this course. There we go, straight. That was still leaning. Are we going to get up to. As soon as you go on the rough, you massively slow down. What a beauty. It's like a building. It literally is. Look, it's like a building. It's built in smaller than this thing. <laughs> We're going pretty fast. I'm still full right rudder, I've been all the way. I'm so worried about takeoff. <laughs> going pretty fast though. Right, I'm off the right rudder. Why are we not? Oh my god. Flying building. <laughs> oh, that's 76 kilometers away. 
we managed to go further? No. Maybe. No, we didn't go past Norway, have we? No. But that's how far we haven't got. If it's going to come apart, if we do a hard G pull up. They're going to be amazing. Well, it's going to be amazing, whichever way you look at it. Put it back in the hangar. <laughs> oh, we've come far too much in. Can't turn around to have another crack. There's our shadow. Where's our shadow? Oh, it's there. Which way we're going, shadow? Oh, we're all good. We're all good. The camera's having a spaz. Just trying to love the buildings and us. Try to land the building. Take it. Showed our landing flaps, didn't it? Something touched. Well, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. 
Is that it? Please don't take him out of wheels. Apply the brake. I call that a success. I call that a land. Oh, why are you spinning? Don't, don't, don't spin. Don't spin. Have we lost a wheel? We're losing something. This is just how it lands. What have we lost? Why are we losing? We're losing engines. Oh, we lost some landing gear, that's why. Oh, we lost the whole... Oh, we lost an entire tube. Oh, no. Shh. Steady now. Just lie down a minute. Lie down. There we go. Oh, it stopped. That's the perfect landing. It's just working out what's exploding and what's not. Oh, they've gone fuzzy. Yorkshire! Yorkshire! <laughs> Yay! Oh no, something big's blown up. It's stopped. <laughs> yeah, something big's blown up. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Each bang's an engine. These survive. Oh, it's like the Zeppelin. If we had better roll control, we'd be able to land it. I'm see what's left after it stopped blowing up. So. Oh, easily flyable. Look how many engines we had left. So basically we had the entire port side. The entire port side pretty much survived. You see that in its own right there is an aircraft. Where have our, where have our men gone? Oh, they're there, look. <laughs> uh, whoever designs them couplers, the shite, because they don't survive. So, yeah, I've got no control. Right then, so there you have it. That is the biggest aircraft I think I can build. Uh, if we go to we'll recover vessel, because it was, we want them to get the experience. And I know Kerbal's going to say they learned nothing. It's like, oh yeah, really? <laughs> What's that island there? So if this peninsula used to be Norway, and this is now. Because of global warming and everything, it changed everything. This is now Yorkshire. Basically, all of this is... Oh, oh yeah, Yorkshire's quite big these days. Uh, this is the, basically... Because of global warming and because of veganism, um, the plate tectonics went mental. And everything got destroyed and it's all ruined. Uh, I think that's what's left of Australia. No, that can't be Australia. That's Australia. No, I think what this is, this is the remains of Germany, uh, one of our other mortal enemies from days gone by. So uh, I think we're going to have to send a care package that way. That's a very good idea. Any road. I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.